is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it rained last night. Yeah. Can't really sit down this morning, so I probably have to stand up. Yeah. And I thought I'd call you. Uh, I haven't gotten any phone calls. And I'm a little concerned because yesterday I was in the study room. Yeah. And I explained about the fraud of issuing court orders where I didn't get any due process. <laughs> There was no enforcement of the civil rights of myself, the petitioner, or the minors named. And I, I would have thought that somebody would have realized that it's against the law to violate the civil rights of American citizens. And when I was walking over here, yes, I ran out of uh, cigarette rolling papers. I had to spend some time selling cigarettes to be able to get some cigarette rolling papers. <laughs> I only have 50 cents in my pocket, and I'm kind of thinking that I'm a little uh, concerned that the sheriffs and the police departments don't really believe that there are any laws. <laughs> now, when you issue a court order on July 31st of 2015, yes, and the petitioner doesn't sign it. I'm not giving actual notice because somebody said that you can tell, well, you can decide somebody is crazy without any actual support of that belief. <laughs> it's kind of like when I was on Guam, I got arrested. Yes. <laughs> and I was on probation for a year, and then um, my record was expunged, the arrest record. Yes. Now, it could mean that... Uh, the mental evaluation where we should have went to reconciliation? Yes. And, uh, well, the drug and alcohol evaluation? Yes. <laughs> Could have been sealed. True. <laughs> now, I told you it was against the law, and you decided to be total fucking dicks today, didn't you? <laughs> well, I decided that when you didn't arrest me for domestic violence or child abuse, yes. What happens when the actual court record is sealed? Yes. <laughs> and the arrest record is sealed? Yes. <laughs> it could mean that both the mental evaluation of the seven hours of parenting classes, yes, as well as the drug and alcohol evaluation where I hadn't drank. In fact, I still haven't drank for 25 years. Oh. <laughs> that you decided you'd issue a court order where you wanted a mental health evaluation and treatment, if recommended, <laughs> without an actual arrest. <clears throat> without any of the conditions of law that would justify me having to have to do that. <laughs> and for some reason, you and the police and sheriff's departments have decided that you're not going to prison for intentionally violating my rights. Now today, okay, <laughs> I'm thinking lawsuits. I'm thinking bigger lawsuits than what I've been thinking for the last three years because you do not believe that I have the right to sue you right now. You don't believe that. Well, I do. I have the right to sue every person in law enforcement that has any knowledge of the fraud. <laughs>